Okay guys, um, I am going to start this um, cover series and it's going to, the first cover we're gonna do is the one for the industrial one. And I won't be able to fit all of it in screen because of um, just like my filming area. But I wanted to show you what I do. Um, to start out, it's literally a box, like a t-shirt box. This one happens to be a recycled one. Um, and you can tell mostly because this one's got tape on it. Um, so I'm a big fan of um, recycling, upcycling, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, and this is, um, I use food boxes too, especially if they don't have any gunk on them. Like pizza boxes are like, in my opinion, pizza boxes are one of the best um, recycled boxes that you can use. Um, I have made many a journal with those boxes. So cereal boxes work well, um, that sort of thing. So what I do is this one's a ceramic knife. Um, if you guys have seen me at all with a blade, you would know why. So I just cut off um, the flaps as straight as I possibly can. And then, oops, okay, Pepper, sit down, sit, sit. Uh, you could probably hear her. I brought them in because the deer are taunting the ever ever loving daylights out of the dogs today. So, all right. So I cut off all four, and our journal size now is going to be um uh, nine by six. Um, pretty standard, typical size. Um, and then what we're going to end up doing is, um, and I'll do it, do this cutting off camera. So how, when it's this big, how I do it is I line up on my mat. Um, this side I cut flush on the cutter because it's 12 inches. So I'm going to line that up with my bottom here just so we can kind of make sure it's square. And then... I will take it and use my, um, I gotta do this standing up, hold on, gotta move my chair. Um, actually I gotta move it up just a, just a hair. And I find the 17, where are you? Right, oops, there. And it's going to be close, probably, because I don't think I can get it. Maybe I can line it up with these dots. Sorry, it takes me a minute to get everything situated. Okay, so I'm going to cut it at 17. I'm going to move that back a little bit. Give me a little more room. So I want to try to make it as flush with these, um, or like straight as possible for the cover. Um, and I haven't made one like this in a very long time, so. Okay. So then, um, I'm going to take this piece <clears throat> and I'm going to end up, uh, lining that up with over here. And I'm going to count out nine inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? Let's double count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, hold on. <laughs> I guess that's 10. So nine would be at 16 inches. Okay. Sorry, that was a little tough on my brain, right? I hope, let's hope. If not, then I'll just delete this video and we'll try it again. Okay. Okay. Just take this. Yep, yeah, nine inches. Nine inches tall. Okay. So then we've got our edges pretty well straight, it looks like. Um, how we'll be able to tell 
has kind of lined it up with this line and make sure it looks like Oh, it looks pretty good as good as it can with and actually maybe off I think I'm going to trim this one up just a little bit a little bit more because if you can tell up here oh you might not be able to tell it but I can see it so I'm going to trim off just a skosh on that top edge it's over just a sliver There we go. Now I can see it. Now it's off. Okay. All right. So then <clears throat> we're going to make a three inch spine because it's going to be, it's going to be a big boy. Um, with three signatures and lots of bulk. So, um, so we want 12 inches, right? Six, six per, per thing plus the three inch. So that's 15 inches. Okay. So this side has not been cut yet, but this side has, so I'm going to, um, line it up over in this direction. Um, cause I know it's pretty, pretty straight already and I'm going to cut it at 15 here. Okay. okay, lined up at the 15 mark. Okay, all right, we'll keep that because that'll make um, a good spine on a different book. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is take my scoreboard feels so weird standing the craft. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to do this in stages. Okay, so I'm going to score at six. Okay. Okay, and then I got to flip it around and score at six again. like so. Okay. So then by the time we do that, then it should be a three inch spine. And it should pretty much. Yeah, it's going to be a Mondo, Mondo baby. Yep. Right at. Yep. Okay. So now I do think I'm going to crease it in on itself this direction though. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the camera for a minute and I'm going to tell you, but before I do, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a piece that is two pieces that are six inches, and then I'm going to cut one that's just a sliver shy of three inches. Okay. Um, so I will be right back with those pieces. Okay, guys, um, I got those pieces cut. <clears throat> And I think in some areas, they're going to be a little bit big, um, but that's okay. I'll show you how we will trim all of that down to make sure that we are getting good seals and all that. Okay. So not to worry, not to worry. So I'm going to make this go almost to that crease, but not quite. Okay. Pretty close though. Okay, now I'm gonna get this and stick it underneath there because I didn't think about that beforehand so we can keep the glue off the mat and move to the outside. Okay. And once you got all your glue spread, then you're gonna come back in and make sure. Yep. Okay, we're all the way in there, all the way on the seam. Okay. 
Okay, and look for this. So I keep the glue here. I'm gonna put this in. And again, this is just a little bit smaller than three inches so that our spine will still move. Okay. See what I mean? It's uh, it um, we'll flip it over here in a minute and do um, oh, they're giggling. Can you hear them? So, because you want to be you want this to move and see how I'm off just a little bit. Well, I'll show you how we're going to take care of that in just a minute. Okay, take a paper towel and kind of wipe that off. That can you imagine if that was actually on the uh, um cutting mat again. Okay, we're going to do it this side too. Again, I'm kind of going liberally because we can always clean glue off, but we can't get it, we can't get more glue in the middle if we need it, right? Okay. All right, so at this point, if you're going to cut or um, paint, you have to do it in like small stages. Like don't soak it because you'll end up rolling all of your um, cardboard because it's not going to be thick enough to handle that. glasses if I'm being honest because I can't see overly well there let me grab them here I don't know being over over uh, 40 kind of sucks when it comes to seeing without uh, bifocals right I mean some of us get really lucky right I wasn't one of the lucky ones I used to, my grandparents, when, you know, when kids would laugh about them needing glasses to read and whatever, you know, kids always laugh, but it's really just not that funny anymore, is it? <laughs> so I don't think it is. Okay, there's only a little bit on this one, and then there's a little bit on that other side. We probably cut, could have cut most of that with scissors, but... Glasses aren't working either because I can't quite get it close enough. So, and I don't like to do these. Kind of, oh, and I bumped the camera. My apologies, guys. Big old head right in the way. There we go. Okay. And then there's just a tiny little sliver down here. Probably don't need to worry about it, but. 
I will know it's there. So. I don't think I'm do it with the scissors. It's just too small to, to really fiddle with much about. But. Okay. Throw a glue lid back on. Get rid of that. Okay. So now we have almost a full cover. Okay, now by doing this, there's several ways you can finish this off. Um, I use fabric um, on all of mine, but I've seen like Nikki Adigan, she uses um, at Musings by Nikki, she uses some fabric to go, or not fabric, she uses like actual like book binding to bind this part through here and then onto the spine to give it um, a really heavy duty. What I do is I use um, usually muslin or I'll pick a color fabric that I like that will go with it. And then I line this and then I line this side to really give that um, a whole lot of strength. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm liking that. It's looking pretty good. Okay. And it's pretty thick. I mean, it's a little thinner than, um, than like a regular book cover, but not too, not too... Not too shabby, and you can add as many layers as you want. If you want, think you want a third one, you by all means can do that. Now, what I need to do is cover these, and this is where you can get kind of um, some added strength in through here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and cut my pieces and then score. So I'll do that off camera again um, so that you guys don't have to watch that. I'm going to cut this one from here to here, which is, if I'm right, it's approximately it's nine inches. Yeah, a little less than nine inches. So that'll help add stability. And so I'm going to cut four of those. Okay, so it's going to be nine by nine, basically. Okay, nine inches tall. That sort of thing, because we're gonna we're gonna finish out these edges with um, either paint or something. I, I haven't decided yet on that. I mean, I know kind of where we're going, so I'm gonna cut four of those. One for here, and then the one over here is gonna go clear over here. Okay, and same with this front cover here. We'll go from here and here. Okay. All right. So I will be right back, and I'll cut those, and we'll see you in a minute. Okay. So. Now what we need to do is we need to be really, really careful, right? Because these, the black shows every little mark, right? So we're going to be really careful with our glue and whatnot. And I'm going to apply the glue to this, not to the black. And then we'll have to just kind of clean up as we go. So same, same concept as the cover, right? I'm gonna put kind of a liberal amount down in this crack because we're gonna end up having to um, put it, make our crease there. The reason I didn't do it beforehand is because you know how paper adjusts, right? Or like, I don't wanna say adjusts, but it, um, it likes to move, if you will, or expand or whatever. So I'll probably have to cut off parts of this again, like we did the other. Okay, I'm trying to be real, real precise on that. Like I said, we'll take scissors to it if we need to. So I'm gonna grab this again. And we're gonna spread our glue. Only this time I'm going to be really careful not to have any on the knife because those that have worked with black know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to, to it marking up. Like I've already got some marks, but I think I can get them all. All right, let me grab my eraser. 
Um, what I usually do to kind of avoid this kind of thing is after I'm done doing whatever it is that I'm going to do on my cover, then I um, put a clear coat on it. Now, let's see, I need the bend. And this is what I was talking about, kind of rolls in. So I always go back through there and kind of crease that down in there with my glue. See how it's coming out of the end? <clears throat> That's so it doesn't kind of come away when we start putting in the binding. Like so. Okay, so then, and by doing that, then we know exactly where our crease is. All right, so we'll use the other side. Well, we won't take off this glue here. under right. yeah okay sorry I got a little lost there guys oh, you should see the dogs they're like literally right at my door all the glue strings out of there. Lining it up as best as I can. All right, now, pull that aside. Okay, hold on really quick. Okay, guys, is that? Okay, there it is. I was like, it looks blurry to me. All right, so I'm just gonna trim off, catastrophe avoided. I thought um, my scoreboard flew off and hit the, because I bumped it. And I set that piece of paper over there. I thought it hit the dog, but it didn't. Scared her pretty good, though. Um, for those of you that are new, I guess I should tell you a bit about our lives. We have three dogs. We have a black lab that was a rescue. He's getting kind of old. He'll be, I believe, nine this year. Though we're not really for sure because he was a rescue. Um, so his adoption date is coming up. 
Oh, in a couple of days. Um, I think it's the 24th. Oops, hold on. Got to figure out which side that was on. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing it right. Okay. 22nd or 24th. Um, and I believe we adopted him in 2014. Yeah, so he's he's around nine. Um, he's starting to get, we call him Graybeard now because, oh, you know what? I put that on the cover, don't I? Oh, well, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Anyways, um, yeah, he has been one of the best dogs we have ever had. I have no idea why somebody ever um, surrendered him. He, he's perfect. Um, when we first got him, his manners weren't as good as we um, would have liked. But for the most part, he's super protective of the kids and always has been since like day one. Um, our biggest... Our biggest complaint about him is that we can't take him anywhere. He's like weirdly dog aggressive. So like we can't take him, like he can go in the car with us and he'll go for rides. He loves to go for rides and he loves to go to the groomer. Um, but we cannot take him to like a dog park or like Gracie took him to a parade once. Um, that did not go well. It required my assistance to kind of keep him under control, right? All the dogs and stuff in the crowd. However, he loves other dogs when they come into his territory. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely bizarre. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. Oh, you know what I didn't do on this a minute ago? Gosh darn it. I bet it's too late now, too. Yep, and it's going to end up buckling. I, but maybe not. Maybe I caught it in time to get it down in there. Hopefully. Say a silent prayer, guys. Okay, I usually don't, on a whole, most of you know... Um, I don't actually bend my covers up until they're completely dry. It just saves a whole lot of time. Later on down the road with like buckling and stuff, I usually wait till all the glue's dry. So anyways, you have Domino. Um, if another dog comes into our yard or whatever, he's not, he's like, hey pal, how you doing? But the minute you take him into another dog's territory, he flips out. Like barks, growls, I don't know, it's strange. It is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Um, and then we have my dog, which is, so the lab is pretty much Grace's dog. Um, he eat, breathes, and sleeps Grace. Um, so yeah, um, he, then my dog is a smooth coat collie who was supposed to be smooth and is not smooth. Um, he is um, rough underneath and smooth on top, so he's kind of a genetic mess, but he's super cute. Um, and then we have Paul's dog, um, and she is a mutt. She has German Shepherd, Aussie, um, what else does she have? Um, Aussie and then Mini Aussie, I believe. So she looks kind of like a little Rottweiler. I mean, it's it's pretty funny. Um, she's super sweet. She's, um, so yeah, Jesse turned three at the beginning of this month. Um, and then Piper was a year old in February. So she, yeah, she's, no, in December. So yeah, she's almost 18 months old. Um, she's kind of the rebel. Um, she tries to be domineering. It doesn't work really well because the boys don't really care, which kind of puts her in a snit most of the time. It's kind of funny. I mean, okay, so yep, I'm just trimming this off here. Oh, I, did I already tell you guys earlier, like, in earlier videos about Grace's concert. The reason that sparked that is because she's in a room practicing for like the last days of choir. 
anyways, um, the choir concert was adorable. They ended up having it outside because our state's kind of weird right now. Um, like if you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask, um, but you have to wear it inside schools and federal buildings, regardless whether you're vaccinated. I, I, I don't understand it. Anyways, um, that's neither here nor there. But so like we had it outside. And so our state's pretty much been like you have you don't have to wear it if you're outside. Um, so yeah, it was just bizarre. Um, kind of just the, the thing. Okay. So I think for the time being, I'm going to call this a video. When we come back, um, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that we are going to do the stencil wherever it went. Um, it's around here somewhere. I don't remember where I said it now. Um, so I'll find my stencil and we're going to stencil paint um, gears on the cover. And then we're gonna do a lace doily here and then I'll put the fabric on the inside. So we'll still have all the support that I was telling you about before, but it'll just have a doily here. So yep, um, that'll be tomorrow's video. So we will talk to you soon. Hope you're all doing well and have a wonderful night or day actually. Okay, bye guys.